All right, here we go, guys. So finally, after so long, all right, I am finally able to get this thing to plus 20. And uh, Sea Fairy, by the way, is already at five star ascension now. So we are going to test this thing out and see if, um, you know, uh, Sea Fairy can actually stand her ground against someone like Golden Cheese as right now. Dude, I am losing. I am losing my legendary essences. Three legendary essences I lose every time, bro. Oh my gosh, please don't. Oh, finally. Holy moly. Finally, the color has changed. With the 20, I am extra uh, able to do extra damage to anybody who's going to have that stun resist and stun immunity, which is like almost 100% of the time with all the Snapdragon comps right now. All right, so we put the uh, regular toppings on. Uh, damage resist focus as well as 11.8% cooldown. At least you try. You want to try to aim for that for that four second start because her cooldown is already so high. I don't know why they still decided not to decrease the cooldown to like 15 seconds, but well, I mean, here we go. Now we'll try out. We'll try out Sorbet and see if uh, Sorbet can do something else. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the 10.3% cooldown. All right, here we go. Golden Cheese comp again. Uh, they do have Black Pearl as well. So here we go. All right, so we have Sorbet to deal some extra damage if we need to. All right. And then our perfect. Wow, look at that. Golden Cheese instantly popped that uh, sarcophagus right there. Good stuff. All right. So the damage definitely is there now for the Sea Fairy because of that extra damage to the stun, uh, stun resist, stun immunity cookies. I mean, just like, look at that. Boom. They just get wiped. <laughs> I mean, of course, just realize that um, the enemy did have a lower promotion cookie. Uh, so that, that does make a difference. But like, they just, they just absolutely get wiped. Once you reach that 20... Dealing extra 100 something percent, right, is just, yeah, it's just insane. Uh, because of everybody, like, almost everybody has Snapdragon right now, so. All right, here we go. Another one here. Um, they have an 18 here, and um, their Black Pearl is a 5 star Ascension, so uh, let's see how this one works out. So, this is one of the other popular ones, right? The Sorbet comp with the Golden Cheese and Black Pearl, all right? Our Sea Fairy and the. Wow, but look! Dude, see that? Instant sarcophagus pop right there. But oh my goodness. That that is kind of scary damage. That that is scary damage. Scary damage. Oh parfait. Oh Sea Fairy. Oh! Sea Fairy wiped the entire team. Come on, Sea Fairy! Come on, Sea Fairy! Oh yes! <laughs> Wow, that golden cheese was scary, but once that sea fairy just wave comes out, just rolled everybody out of the screen. Seven million damage by our sea fairy. Holy moly. She's absolutely busted, bro. I mean, again, if you could get to 20. All right, here's another one here. They do have the feather again uh, with the golden cheese. They have these two missing. It doesn't look like a pure vanilla one, but here we go. All right, here's another sorbet one, but this time around, they are way higher in the ranks this time around. All right, and this time around, we did not get to pop off the sarcophagus of golden cheese right away. It seems like because of the skill order. One bad thing right there. Our uh, Crimson Coral did push off the uh, the enemy Crimson Coral. Alright, so that was a little bad thing. Here we go. The Tidal Wave. Oh, the Golden Cheese and the enemy team dodged it. Oh, our Sea Fairy is still alive. Still alive. Here goes the stun. Sarcophagus has popped. And wow! That actually worked out way better. I mean, dude. They had a four-star ascension. This is level 20, at least 20, right? They have a two-star golden cheese, four-star, um, you know, crimson coral, and a four-star ascension snapdragon. And Seafair just rolling them, bro. Just rolling them out of the screen with that tidal wave. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Parfait Magic Candy right now is at 
plus 20, I believe, for me. Uh, but man, that immunity and the AoE damage from Sea Fairy, especially with the extra 100 something percent, right? Once they have that stun immunity or stun resist, it's just, it, it's actually making so much a difference right now. You wanna, you wanna do at least 10. Yeah, you wanna go at least 10 for the uh, parfait one. Here we go, here we go. All right. That is a good, good start right there. Enemy Sorbet is almost dead. Did not die though. All right. But here it goes. Our Sorbet did miss the skill. That's the one bad thing sometimes that Crimson Coral does push off the enemies, preventing our Sorbet from actually hitting. But here we go. One minute mark here. Tidal Wave. Oh, wait. No, this time around, none of the enemy team died. Except, no, they're looking okay right now. We still have Sorbet. Sorbet is going to be able to dodge the... Uh, oh, no. All right, that did not work out too well because both of them dodged, all right, or used their skills, preventing our Sorbet from using the skill. All right. So damage, you know, still there, uh, but this time around the skill order did not work out too well. All right, and then of course, if you do a little crit here and there too, that makes that will make a difference. Uh, but I mean, still overall, the damage is not bad at all. All right, here we go. This time around, they don't have feather though. They do have a scroll, which means that they're gonna do way more damage. So let's see how this works. Uh, this one works out. All right, here we go. They have a Stardust this time around. And what happened? Oh, the sarcophagus already popped. But now they have the the vile damage. I need I need the healing. No, Sea Fairy died. Now that is uh really bad. There's that downside, I guess. That Sea Fairy is still squishy. Maybe, maybe we should also go with the Vile and the uh, Feather and see how that works. Man, the Stardust teams. Yeah, Stardust teams still just absolutely nuke us though. Maybe Black Pro instead of Sorbet? Maybe we, well, we could do that too. All right, we'll try Black Pro instead of Sorbet this time around. All right, this time around they have the Feather Vile again, but Moonlight. Here we go. The Parfait is... I, I feel like if you don't have Parfait, it's going to be really, really hard with just Frill Jellyfish. Uh, because Seafairy, look at it, look, Seafairy just takes so much damage. Like if you don't have the burst damage and the par par parfait buff for Seafairy, it's going to be really hard for Seafairy to survive. In my opinion, I feel like. Alright, it seems like before that one minute mark, uh, we're going to be able to pop that sarcophagus, allowing us to just wipe the enemy team like that. Man. Dude, the AoE damage, it's just so good. Ooh. All right. Level 20 Black Pearl uh, Crystal Jam here. And they do have a scroll as well. Uh, We'll try it. We'll try it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. So the one downside right now with Black Pearl being used right now is that Black Pearl does go first, making Sea Fairy the last one to use skill. Not too much of a problem, but if they do have someone like Stardust, then it can slightly mess it up a little bit. Wow, look at that. Sea Fairy just absolutely getting nuked in the beginning. All right, well, Black Pearl's still alive. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the Sorbet just absolutely destroying the... Uh, Destroying the Crimson Coral. Yikes. Yeah. That was not what we expected. Dude, the 20, the skill damage, all right, the bypass, damage resist bypass with skill, it's so, it's big. It's huge. All right. I think Sea Fairy definitely is strong and uh you know a water comp like you know again the one that we first tried out with sorbet right now and then parfait uh with something like this is going to be very strong i just feel like uh we need to kind of time the sorbet and uh crimson coral's timing a little bit and i think it'll be really really good and um i mean sorbet right now 
the higher it gets, the better it's going to be, especially inside of the arena where I'm versing like everybody with like, you know, very high ascension promotion as well as crystal jam level. Uh, but I don't think Watercom is disappearing anytime soon. And also Sea Fairy uh, is going to be really, really good for the Cookie Alliance here and there too. But yeah, if I find any other like specific comp, then we will share it. But again, plus 20, super good. But I think for the current arena, Black Pearl, once she gets to plus 20, she's going to become like, actually OP too. Uh, probably way better and way versatile than Sea Fairy as of right now.